Ah, uh, there's a place in your house where it's cool to chill, get some me time, or even cook a meal. It's your kitchen, mofo. Ain't no time to slack, so just grab yourself a penny and let's work that ass. If you're scared of this place, ain't no need to bother. Just lay down your weapons and pick up another. Hi guys, how's it going? Welcome to my Virgin Kitchen. Uh, today I'm doing a video based on a picture uh, I did the other day on Instagram and Twitter and that, I uploaded it to that and you guys were like, yeah, that's really nice. So I'm going to show you how to make it because people were like, yeah, show me how to make it. So I'm going to show you how to make it. A bit of a pink theme going on, a headband, I've got a pink hat which is going to come off right now and I've got a tutu, a pink tutu. Check that out. I don't know why I'm doing that. I just kind of feel like I need to do it. So uh, this is one of those videos where, you know, how you sort of say, uh, yeah, it's like four ingredients, it's going to be really easy. And uh, it kind of is four ingredients, but you know, they always sort of say that. And there's always like 400 secret ingredients alongside it. So there's a couple more, I'm not going to lie to you. And it's all lined up here, basically. So hit pause on a video and write them all down. Now that is a little bit of a hor horrible angle. Don't want to see that, fish. But we are cooking fish today. Sea bream, which is normally really expensive in my local supermarket, is on offer at the moment. And uh, this little chap, I've actually got two different versions because I've got one gutted and boned, which is that one there for Mrs. Barry, and there's this one. Hello, I'm a fish. Uh, nice to meet you. Which I'm going to cook, and I've got to pick the bones out afterwards, which is kind of annoying, but there we go. Uh, I've got some potatoes as well, I've got uh, lime, I've got a tomato, sesame seeds, pineapple, coriander. It's going to be quick and easy. We're going to griddle that fish, we're going to whiz up a little pineapple salsa, and we're going to bake those potatoes with a cracked black pepper and sesame seed finish. So let's just get on and make it. And uh, I love you. <laughs> All right then folks, the longest bit about this recipe is cooking your potatoes. So you're gonna use that to time the rest of it. And I'm grabbing myself a knife. Oh, by the way, I have washed my hands as well because after picking up that fish, it smells fishy and I don't want that. Okay, even using soap, they still smell quite fishy. Awkward. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, I've got like a bag of just random potatoes you kept in the fridge, you know, so uh, use some, some baby potatoes, some bigger ones. Look, look at the difference in that, size like that. So what I'm gonna do, we're probably gonna cut that into thirds to make it a little bit more even, then we're gonna splash it in olive oil. So uh, that's quite a boring step, but just to show you, if you're interested, uh, to cut a potato, you just sort of pick up a knife, and, uh, oh, you can't see, here we go, like that. Just cut it in half, and there you go, there's half a potato, and that's a, that's a good size. Just do that. All right, so now we go and baste our potatoes. I've put them in this funky tray, like so. All I'm gonna do is absolutely drench them in olive oil. So I've given them a blooming good coat in there, and then you get your hands on it and mix it up as well. Again, make sure fishy hands and potatoes ain't gonna go well together. So uh, give that a good coat in. And if you want, shove them in the oven like that, but then you can add different coatings and stuff. So this is where I grab my uh, big Italian pepper mill thing, like this, and just grind it. Like that. Okay, lots of pepper on it. Yeah, I'm just bringing you in close here, so I'm really giving it a darn good coating in the pepper. I absolutely love that taste. I'm also going to add sesame seeds towards the end of the baking stage. But get your hand in there again, and just mix it all around, and one potato just jumped out. Five second rule, in it goes again. So these go in the oven now. Yeah, oven. Right, so there's my tray, and it's going on the top shelf like that, and it's going to cook nice and fast like that. Make sure the potatoes quite evenly sized, otherwise you'll get one really cooked one, and then one like one you bite into it and be like, <coughs> just like eating a raw potato in a field. Now I'm not gonna film me shutting that oven door because it's a little bit jammy at the moment, so I'm gonna be like, <coughs> so I'll uh, just put it in there and I'll put the temperatures down below, okay? See you in a minute. Uh, hey you, naughty door. All right, so next we're gonna use our funky little mini blender thing, either that, or if you haven't got one of those, you can just chop things really fast, really fast, and uh, just blend stuff up. So I've got a massive handful here, parsley I'm just gonna whack that in there this was one big tomato like almost like a beef tomato size but not quite you know just like a large tomato you know a well endowed tomato in that goes and here is a tin of pineapple pieces 227 grams so I'm using about two-thirds of that um, I'm not gonna do the maths on camera right now but uh, yeah just work that out so I'm gonna use just a few left over there at the end you'll see why so this rest of this tin and the juice is gonna go in there sit it on there <coughs> Cram it all down. Okay, so I've crammed all that down, and I know some of the uh, obsessive people are gonna say that, you've missed a bit of parsley, so I'll get every little bit there. Just put the lid on, like so. Turn that like that, and here we go. Helps if you turn it on. I've now turned it on. <laughs> Wicked, so that was literally about a 40 second blast. Let me just try to take this lid off a sec. And there we go, in there, looks 
really, really wrong actually, but I promise you that is an incredibly tasty pineapple salsa. It's so, so, so good. I'm gonna get it on that plate with these remaining pineapple chunks like that. See that there? I promise you that'll look good and it'll taste great. Okay, folks, we are gonna, did I say folks? Fruit. Okay, folks, or people, or whatever. Uh, we are now moving on to the fish. I've got myself a griddle pan, which is nice and hot, with some oil on there, just a bit of olive oil, do, 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 like that. So I've got my fish in two types of ways. I don't go in fishmongers very often, and I should more, because eating fish is good, it's nice. Um, yeah, so I've got a filleted and boned version there, the nice one where we haven't got a nickel with the bones out, like Mrs. Barry's gonna have that one. I won't show you the um, the other side of it because it's still you know a little bit different, you know, not very nice. Uh, but there we go, that's it. And his, uh, his older brother is still there in one piece, and here has just been gutted. Now we use the phrase "gutted" in uh, England uh, when we are disappointed about something. We're we're gutted. We're like, oh, so gutted. But when I actually saw the fishmonger like gut the fish, that took gutted to a whole new level. So I don't think I ever use that phrase again. But he's all right. This fish, he's all right. So what we're going to do is actually plonk him. Here we go straight. On there, like that. Did you see that? I don't know. I'm just going to grab one fillet for the minute. Ignore the blood and uh, put that straight down there, like that. Now the fillet will cook quicker than the big fish. All right. So um, about five minutes either side on the fillet. Ten minutes either side on the big fish. I reckon. All right. Um, yeah, it's been five minutes, okay? And uh, the fillet, I flipped it over to a trone, like so. And it's all nice, and nice brown lines on it, not too well done on there. But I really want to do the other side, the scaly side. Oh yeah, uh, so that's there, another five minutes. Then I'll chuck the other fillet on. Whereas this fishy, is, uh, looks huge. It looks like jaws in my pan. Do, 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 do. Uh, but it's just there, it's just hanging out, really. Just waiting to cook. Okay, friends, a couple of things have just happened. I've done my fillet completely, so I've taken that off, that has been 10 minutes. So I flipped over the big fish, check that out. Other fillets gone on. Now, my potatoes are done, but just for one sec, grab one of your limes, we're gonna do both of them, and shove it on your griddle pan like that. It's amazing, all the juices are gonna go in the pan, or it's gonna give it a funky presentation effect. It's about two or three minutes, we'll blacken it. Uh, so yeah, these potatoes, it's only about sort of five minutes left to go on them. I'm gonna sprinkle some sesame seeds on them, just to go like that. Stir it around with a spoon, and shove it back in there in the oven. Easy, that's it. Okay, my friends, once you have blitzed your lime for a good two minutes, the heat of the pan should not make it need any more than that. Two minutes will be good. Uh, you should have a nice funky brown finish like that on it, like that. It's almost like caramelized, and the lime juice would have gone into the fish as well. Ooh. So once your fish is done, as we talked about the 10 and five minute thing, depending on the size of it, it's there like that. Nice brown finish on it, it's crispy as well. Can you hear that? Did you hear that little sort of pierced it? It's crispy, I like it. Right. Parsley as well, that's just for presentation. Got my limes as I talked about, and here is the salsa. So I've got the little chunks there, it's gonna sort of balance out with the salsa now. Here is two ways to serve it, along with our potatoes, which I'm gonna get out right now. Thank you, partner. Okay, folks, so to serve this up, what we'll do first of all is get our fish on there. I'm gonna go for the fillet one for this bit. Here we go. Beautiful, look at that. It almost looks like two fish legs going like that, just walking along. Uh, maybe not. Well, that could be a mouth. Look, that's a shark. There's his eye, and there's the mouth. I'm gonna move on. Yeah, okay, uh, salsa now, whoa! So with the salsa, I'm just getting a big old heap of it there, laying it in one corner, and then maybe just dropping a little bit across the top there, just scatter it around like that. Yeah, that'll do. Okay, uh, with your lime now, just give it a little teeny more squeeze of juice if you want, and just sit it there for presentation stuff. Wicked. Get some of your bigger chunks of pineapple, and just sort of scatter it up and down there, like so. There we go, sort of fix it a bit more chunky now. See, it, it really worked, kinda. I don't know why I did that, I don't know. It's, Carry on, just a little bit of uh, parsley and potatoes. Parsley and potatoes, P and P, boom. Boom, there we go, that is that on there. What I wanna do, I don't even wanna eat it, I just wanna stare at it. Like that, I just wanna stare at it. Almost like fire, you know, like a bonfire, you can just keep staring at something like that. Amazing, and the sesame seeds on the potatoes as well, that is gonna give it a flavor edge. I wanna pick it up as well, I wanna rip it and just spread it all over my body. No, I don't wanna do that, sorry, honest. Uh, so yeah, if I just clip my fingers, here is a way to do it with the big fish, here we go. Same again, exactly the same. I just put my hand in that potato. Whoops, there we go. Boom shakalaka, that is the uh, equivalent with the big fish, so uh, it's completely up to you. Um, I would actually prefer the one without the bones in it, but Mrs. Barry gets that one, I get to debone this thing, so uh, yeah, that is it. Uh, I'm gonna show you what it tastes like. Wow! Okay, my friends, I'm having a sneaky bit of Mrs. Barry's, just because I don't wanna show you the whole, like, cutting up of the fish thing, I feel really bad. Um, so yeah, here's the fillet thing. I'm just gonna get straight in there. A little bit of potato as well, a little bit of that salsa. Oh my goodness, here we go. Mm. 
Oh my god. Wow, that is good. Oh, excuse me. Oh my god, the fish is so good. I feel like I'm Ariel from uh, the Little Mermaid film. You know, I know the sea. I feel like I'm in there. I'm with Ariel. I'm with her, my best friend, and I'm swimming around the sea with her, and I'm eating this, and it tastes good. Wow. That took like 25 minutes to make it in total. The ingredients were like under 10 pounds. It's filling, it's healthy, it's fun, it's fresh, it's funky, and I love you. So um, thanks for all your nice messages, by the way, recently on the video, it's really nice. And um, if I can make this, absolutely anyone in the world can. Have a go for yourself. Uh, pink thing, optional. Let me know how you get on. And I'll see you again next time. Bye. Cheers.